Ayy, feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. What's up, guys? I'm back after two years. I'm going on YouTube until now. <laughs> anyway, in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a puffer bag just like this one out of an old t shirt and some lining fabric, or if you have two t shirts, you can do that as well. Probably a long sleeve t shirt. Anyways, today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make a puffer bag. One I just showed you, I made it for my older sister. She said she wanted a Tweety Bird one, so I was like, okay, I'll just make it for her. So, yeah, it, uh, it took me a minute, especially to, I ran out uh, some of the supplies. Around time I was making it, so I had to wait until I get some new ones. Comment down below what else you guys want me to do next, or try to upcycle. And I might end up doing another nail video. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Five that you need is one sewing machine. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can try to hand sew this. One or two t-shirts, but if you don't have another t-shirt, let's get, I want to say about half a yard of fabric, depending on length of it. Need some sewing pins or clips, and I think that's about it. Oh, and some stuffing. I use polyfill. You can get that from like Amazon, Joann's, Michael's, any type of craft store. And don't forget some scissors, but also a bonus pinky shears, especially you're dealing with fabric that frays. Paper fabric I had would not stop fraying, even when I was cutting the scissors evenly and Trust me, it was giving me a hard time. <laughs> um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's get on with the tutorial. First off, you want to cut your pieces into a square shape. I cut mine about 15 by 15, plus a quarter inch seam allowance, and then I clip them all together. And I made sure to leave, uh, I want to say a two to three inch gap so I could turn it right sides out. As you can see, I'm using my sewing machine, and this is my stitch length at 3.5 uh, millimeters. And then I made sure I aligned it with the seam allowance gauge that's on my sewing machine, and just start sewing. Make sure when you get to the corner, pivot your fabric with the needle down in the down position, and turn it, and Make sure, like I said before, leave a two or three inch gap so you can turn it the right side out. Later. After you turn your pieces right side out, sew a straight line right down the middle uh, vertically so you can fill the bottom part down. And then after you did that, sew a horizontal line right in the middle and then fill up the top. And then you should have four spots of the bag. Later. I finished one of the pieces, but I realized I ran out of polyfill, so uh, yeah, I had to buy some more. <laughs> Four to six days later. Finally, after a week, I got some more polyfill. I got two bags just in case I ran out, and there's me being excited about it. <laughs> Anyways, so you want to take your polyfill, and I'm going to show you how to do it, like I described it at the beginning. So you take top part right after you did the bottom you fill it up with the polyfill and then after you're done to fill up as the way you're liking use the sewing clips and fold fold it about a quarter inch and yeah, it look nice clean and crisp <laughs> Oh yeah, I got a new uh, cone stand, and which is which is great for me because sometimes I uh, use my searcher thread, especially so I need a darker blue for the fabric. Anyway, I'm burning my machine. 
making sure I'm using the right needle, which by the way, you need to use a jersey needle for this, especially working on t-shirts. And I just sewed the back clothes, like I said, with a, a quarter inch seam allowance. And that was it. Finish with both pieces. Clip them together. And try your best to sew this, cause my sewing machine was struggling. I had to uh, try to maneuver it and go slow as best as I can. But remember, if you're doing a project like this where you're trying to put two pieces together, like a quilt or something, please, please use a walking foot. Cause I think that would make everything easier. So easier. <laughs> One eternity later. After what seemed eternity, I finally was able to sew it together. Anyway, now we're going to do the straps. I didn't have the set measurements, but I did end up cutting two pieces, cut two pieces, sew them into long, one long strap, well, two long straps. And after I did that, I pressed them together. And then after you're done doing that, Later that same evening. Hold it in half, making sure you sew it close to the edge. And which uh, I didn't do it till two hours later because I was watching a Doctor Strange movie. It's not bad. Two hours later. Anyway, after I sewed the straps together, I filled them up with the rest of the public fill. And yeah, that also took me a while as well because I don't have a loop turner. <laughs> The last step that we have to do is connect straps with the bag and uh, yeah, then you're done. Montage. I love how the Tweeber bag turned out. Um, this also has to be one of my favorite tote bags I ever made in my lifetime. <laughs> By the way, one of the pictures, my sister is holding the bag and she loves it. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more content where I'll be uploading like upcycling videos and so much more. Anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and see you guys next time. Bye!